But we have a problem that asks us to interpret a histogram. It reads, data was collected for a sample of organic snacks. The amount of sugar in milligrams in each snack is summarized in the histogram below. Which statement best describes the meaning of one of the bars in the histogram? And when we look at the histogram, we see on the left side the word frequency, and the scale here is in twos, two, four, six, eight, etc. And on the horizontal x-axis, the amount of sugar in milligrams. So we have here the amount of sugar in snacks, uh, and we see in milligrams 60 to 64, 64 to 68, 68 to 72, and so forth. So the horizontal axis is the axis for the amount of sugar, and the frequency, the number of snacks that have a particular sugar content. And if we look at the first selection, and we're asked which of these statements best describes the meaning of one of the bars, it says that five snacks have about 66 milligrams of sugar. So if we went to where we find the sugar, we would be looking for 66 milligrams and seeing if that is represented on the horizontal axis. And here we have the amount of sugar in milligrams. And 66 would be, well, in this portion of the histogram between 64 and 68 milligrams. And if we then look at the frequency, in other words, how many snacks had about 66 milligrams, we come up here to the height of the bar and look across to the frequency. And sure enough, it appears that about five snacks have a sugar content of about 66 milligrams. Well, let's look at the others. Maybe there are more than one choice, or maybe there's a choice that's better. The largest number of snacks have 12 milligrams of sugar. So the largest number of snacks would be the number with the greatest frequency. And here we have the frequency, and we see that the greatest frequency, the largest number of snacks, are 12 snacks, but they don't have a sugar content of 12 milligrams. They have a sugar content of somewhere between 72 and 76. So the largest number of snacks would have uh, somewhere between 72 and 76 milligrams of sugar. So this presents a problem, and this can't be right. 66 snacks have between 64 and 68 milligrams of sugar. So if we look between 64 and 68 milligrams of sugar, here are those amounts. And if we look up that bar again to the frequency, in other words, the number, uh, we see that it's, again, about 5 and not 66. And the last choice, 66 snacks have 5 milligrams of sugar. Well, if we look at the horizontal axis here the, for the amount of sugar, we see that the amounts of sugar start at 60, go up to 88. 5 milligrams of sugar is not represented in these numbers. 5 milligrams would be way down over to the left of these numbers. So this is not representative of any of the amounts of sugar in any of these candy bars. So that the statement that best describes the meaning of one of the bars is that five snacks, meaning the frequency of five, have about 66 milligrams of sugar.